this has been requested. So, I shall indeed play Manor Lords. Will I be able to actually get this game to work the way it's supposed to? That will be the question. Any which way, it'll be relaxing. Alright, so I like this guy. I'll be honest. This guy's another potential, but I think we're gonna go for him. Yakub, Jacob, Jacob. I don't know how we want to describe that, but let's go with. Okay, let's go with. Let's see if we can. I do not do that. I talk quite quickly in general. So, we're going with the rise to prosperity. No raiders, no enemies, I don't think. Yeah, no adversaries. I'm quite happy with that. Now, if you watched my last video, you will remember that I actually, uh, attempted to play this game like what four times and just could not get it together could not get it to work well so again we just need to make a large town okay food and fuel now again I think our construction here the things that we have to
least one person to all of these things. I think we could also, in general, probably play this a little bit more uh, silly, which is to say way super zoomed in, which is never how you play these types of games. They just don't work like that, you know? But, we're doing pretty well with that. Okay, so the reason why you want to build all of these different things is the supplies are actually really, really vulnerable. If it rains early, that's why we built these first off. basically have to build a logging camp because you only have so many supplies like how many how many logs do we have we have something like we have five logs i think the standard is i believe the standard is seven that you start off with yeah seven logs seven timber which means that if we build any houses early, it destroys, absolutely destroys our ability to get more logs and pretty much soft locks you. It's not great. Okay, let's see. All right, very nice. We're on an underground liver, bleh, river. Barley. Right. Ooh, we don't really have the last time that I tried this out. We actually had quite good. I had really good rye fertility. Unfortunately, we really don't have that here. I think rye is definitely our best bet, but it's. You know what? That actually won't be too bad. We'll build our houses like here. That's where we'll build our houses, and this is where we'll build our farms. I like that. That should be pretty good. Okay. And then you essentially want, like, at least one unassigned person at any one time. Let's look for the most aesthetic view. I like it. This is pretty good. Yeah. Then let's just, you know, pose for the for the thumbnail. That's pretty good. Okay. We finally got you finished. So we want one person assigned to you. And then this is it. the logging is the main thing that we've got to worry about. Once this is built, we can actually kind of start playing the game. And this is actually way, this is way further. This is way further than I've ever gotten before. Okay, so that's pretty good. So from here, I'm going to want to build... Residential Burridge's plot. Excellent. Okay. Now we want to check out our rye. Let's see. Okay, let's try to put it here. be able to pay 
basically would it immediately, you know, boof this out? see if I can just basically kill this tree. I want to see if I can get rid of this tree. How many will I need to do it the way I want to? I need 26. That's a lot. That's a lot. Let's go ahead and just start building them. Yeah. I think so. I think we should just start building them out. And... Not quite. Okay. Let's do you. I'd want it to 
across the road. I guess I can't go across the road. Okay. There to there. Interesting. I don't want to build that yet, but I will keep that up. Now if I go back to that, it's still it's gone, it leaves. That's unfortunate. Okay, we don't need you anymore. We do want to build more houses. This is our main spot. This is our main deal. Where should we put this? What do we think? say I do have the ability to cheat on this game for right now. I don't know, it just seems foolish. Now, what can we build with this? My... I'm trying to find my wealth.
that's pretty good looking. A well-supplied marketplace is the lifeblood of your town. Assigned families will set up stalls automatically as long as there is enough space on the market. Hover over specific categories to check your current supply and demand. Burgage, burgage plots closest to the market get their market requirements fulfilled first. Okay. I guess. Okay. Let's find what else. We want a forager hut. Interesting. Okay, where can I pop this? Trees uprooted for construction. I'm not sure about this. Like, there's a... Okay, it moved. Good. So let's put you here. Excellent. Then let's throw a road from here to here. Beautiful. So that's a nice little berry deposit. We don't quite have, as far as I can tell, enough people. Okay. They're coming, though. Just one, one, one. And one. Beautiful. Okay. How many more families do we have? Five families. Only five. That's what I thought. That's five. These are working. They had yet to transport these, but they're coming. Let's take a gander. Zero timber. So all the timber is spoken for so far. That's fine. No big deal. Okay, so you see the rain right here. This is why we built our granary and our storehouse first. This would have destroyed all our supplies. Granary, storehouse. Yeah. So these are definitely our higher priority stuff. We want to get these guys in because I think I could be wrong but my guess is once everyone is housed the homeless people tents will disappear I'm curious to see if that's accurate or not I am curious to see if that's accurate are all our transported goods. Yeah, this is why we need an extra guy who's unassigned so that they can lead the ox. It's very important, apparently. I don't actually know that. Somebody just told me that.
think. Sure, why not? That's, I mean, it kind of looks a little bit mussed up, but it's not bad. We don't have the timber for it yet, but that's okay. Now I should have an absurd amount of wealth should allow me. Oh, maybe it didn't. I was going to say I tried to cheat. Takes effect when treasury value updates. Ah, whatever. Are you no slacking? Oh, you know what we should do? We should collect. Yeah, we should connect this to the main road. I do hope they're not going to finish this building. It'd be most embarrassing to run out halfway through. Okie dokie. Right now, we've got three people assigned, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, excellent. Okay. Now, let's look at fuel. Okay, so from here, we're going to need our next thing that we're going to need to do is a, I believe it's called a woodcutter's lodge. Nearby trees. I'm kind of thinking... thinking. I mean, we could put it over there. I think our best bet is... Yeah, putting it like right here. I think that's probably our best bet. I can tell it doesn't seem like it. To 
does not seem like I can do anything for that. It's unfortunate. Because I would have loved to have just, you know, thrown all of this stuff out. Unfortunately, not a possibility right now. Come on, man. Okay. What other stuff are we doing here? Food. How long until stuff runs out? Two months. Okay. We really need more people. So to be honest, I'm gonna have to just... I'm gonna have to just go for Burgage plots here. Okay, three. Three doesn't work. Let's try you. How do I not have enough? I'm missing one. I gotcha. Okay. I'm missing one log. Should be pretty quick. Should be able to do it. To be honest though, this does mean that I'm going to have to assign somebody to do this. Which means people are not going to finish this. Okay, good. Alright. So now we are at a crucial stage where approval really needs to go up. Which is why I'm going to just straight up max approval. Like a complete cheater. And I'm going to attempt to get new families by the time this is done. I don't know if that's going to be possible. We shall see. It's unfortunate. So, 
exactly where these people are going and I might even want to after these houses are built just assign them straight up to these two things I think that's probably what we're going to do we'll just you know ignore building any more We've got enough empty spots to entice people in. We should be okay. Alright, I'm gonna put people into... I'm gonna put somebody into that, because we're gonna need to start making food.
mercenary companies available. I'm not really, I don't really need them. But let's check this out. Okay, after you reach the next settlement level, you will be granted a development point to spend. Unlock development branches to make your region more efficient. To enact policies, you need to rise, raise your administration level by building administrative buildings like the manor. Got it. Now, my question here is, can I make, I can give myself a crazy amount of development points, which I will do. I absolutely will do such a thing. One development point. Heavy plow. Oh, I like that. Trade logistics, basic armor making. I don't really need any of this stuff. There we go. Okie dokie. Policies. Production. That's pretty good, though. Just got it. Let's do it. All right. Farmhouse employs families who work on the fields. The workforce is distributed proportionally in accordance with the fields set priority level. When crops are growing, they absorb certain nutrients from the soil, temporarily lowering its fertility and thus diminishing yields over time. To 
combat this, consider changing crop types or, even better, leaving the field fallow for a year. That is probably not a bad move. Okay. So that works. And then, so the farmhouse used to employ families on the field. The farm workers plow the fields as soon as the winter passes, but no later than November. I think we're okay on that. We're in May. Okay. I want to put that right here, right? Yeah, absolutely. Good. How many, how much timber? I've got a lot more timber. That's good. I think that's our iron. That's good. Clay deposit. Stone deposit. Rich. Very nice. Wild animals, also nice. Pretty good looking, actually. Pretty good looking. I like it. The question is going to be how much surplus supplies can we get? How many surplus supplies can we get? Before we need to really expand out, you know, and like move our logging camp. Because like, I mean, look at this, the logging camp was straight up in a forest. But now it's, it's pretty well cleared out. And so eventually all of this is going to be very cleared. And it's going to be very difficult to move this stuff. No, I don't want to do that yet. Yeah. This iron deposit is really nice. I do want to get that. Now. Mining pit. Extract iron ore from iron deposits. Can I straight up put it right here? Ah, excellent, I can. Okay. Whenever you're ready. And we'll build a road here to here. Very nice. We don't need that yet, to be perfectly honest, but it's not a terrible idea to get it. Because that's our closest resource, other than these berries. Yeah. I think this is going to be our main. Okay, perfect. Look at this. We've got our fuel up. We've got our food up. I don't know why this looks like it's going down. Maybe it's because we were at 100%. And now it's at 55%. I can see that. That's okay. Alrighty. Should we just unlock a whole bunch of crap? Yeah. I like it. Doubles capacity. That's very good. Yeah. Let's just get in there. Advanced skinning. Beekeeping. Charcoal burning. It's because it's early access. And we're just going to go ahead and be absolutely silly. Oh, excellent. 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 Alrighty. So, from here, I think we should be So we 
Reminds me relatively close. Screw it. Blip to what? All right, we could just put it anywhere.
this setup so far. I want to see what it looks like from here. Not too bad. 